Hey, Darlington. How's it going, man? Doing well. How are you? Good, good to see you. Um, have a good off season and all with family. Yeah, it was good. Low key. We stayed in uh, Ohio, so it was nice, relaxing. Yeah, it's kind of what you do, right? Low key, stay yeah. home. Um, hey, just what was it like seeing Aiden back out there? And, you know, Miguel was saying he looks like the same player already. Just how much do you feel like it will be a boost for the midfield to have him back? Oh, definitely. You know, it's good to have him back. Uh, obviously, his injury last season, but Miguel spot on. You know, to me, he looks good. He looks fresh. Looks fit, so you know that's a testament to him and the hard work that he put in the off season and, and his recovery. But looking forward to having him, having more numbers in there. You know, he brings something different. You know, we're all different, so you know his ball winning mentality, his work rate, able to get around the field. So he's going to help us a lot. And you know, this is what preseason number thirteen for you, or something like that. I think mm -hmm. I saw mm -hmm. that, twelve. Yeah. Uh, twelve, I think. Yeah, twelve. Twelve. Okay. Does it? Do you still get the same type of excitement? And, and I guess I want to know, is there maybe a bit more for you just after last season and, and how it ended? And, you know, you guys are kind of chasing after it again. Yeah, you still get excited because, you know, you're back with the group again, back with your friends, touching the ball. So there's always excitement when you come back and get to do that. And uh, so far, it's been a good preseason. You know, guys look sharp, you know, but we know it's only going to get sharper the longer that we're in preseason. And uh, yeah, the way we ended the season was a positive and, you know, we put that behind us and we're focusing on this year and the season. And we have a core group that's here returning and we know what we're capable of. Thank you, Darlin. Darlin Thomas Costello, followed by Pat. Thanks, Carlos, appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Darlington, nice to meet you. Uh, appreciate the time. Last week when Caleb Porter was talking about just um, the makeup of the team and how our tour is out currently still with the injury. Um, and now there's four or five younger midfielders out, outside of Morris, but uh, new signings, homegrown signings. How does that change kind of your role on the team as instead of having two maybe veterans in the midfield there, you're potentially bringing up maybe a newer player, somebody right out of college. Does that change anything for you and how you kind of uh, run the team in the midfield there? Uh, I think it kind of depends. We'll see how they develop. You know, Evan, it uh, depends how they develop, what their game's like. So I can't say right off the bat is going to change anything, but it kind of depends off their game. I try to go off of who I'm playing with and what their strengths are and weaknesses are and try to fill in the gaps from there and uh, just try to complement each other. Thank you. So we'll go to Pat Murphy. If you'd like a question after that, click raise hand. Darlington, Caleb told us last week that he's looking at you know, different formations, different tweaks to the way you guys play this preseason. Um, you've obviously worked with him for a long time. What kind of things has he done in the past that, that maybe we can expect? And you know, I know you don't want to give away too much, but what, what are we kind of looking at in terms of how different things may look at, at certain times this year? I think just putting guys in different positions, you know, being more fluid, I would say. Kind of been the talking point, more fluid giving uh, the opposing team different looks and just being uh, able to change it in different systems during the season. So I think we're going to work on a couple and then we'll go from there and based on personnel and he'll choose you know, who he thinks is best for the for a certain game. And is that just kind of a necessary thing with the team when you, you've had success, you're now in, you know, you're three or four with a lot of these guys under the same kind of regime. Um, do you just need something different to not only freshen things up for you guys, but for the opponent as well? Yeah, I think I think more so for the opponent. I think more so for the opponent. You know, I think a lot of team knows uh, know our players now. They know our strengths and our weaknesses. So I think it's just to give them a different look. You know, give them a different look. But then you can always go back to what what you're comfortable with and what you you've been doing for a while, and you know how it works. So uh, I think the more versatile you are, the better it is for the team. Thank you, Darlington. Thank you, Ian Quillen. And the final question will be Jacobs. Hey, Darlington. Thank you for the time today. I appreciate it. Uh, we all know kind of the, the injuries and stuff you guys dealt with last season and, and, you know, finishing on a, on a better note, but not the complete season that you guys wanted, uh, it, it, getting back to where you guys were in 2020, is it as simple as availability and keeping guys on the field? Or is there anything else, one or two things you can identify that, that needs to improve from last year? Um, uh... No, I just say last year we just had one tough stretch, you know, and just you're one game away. So availability just puts you that puts us into the playoffs. If you're able to have a consistent lineup and the guys that, that you know uh, you can count on all the time. But I think it's availability that you know it's not a new team, but I think that puts us uh, already a step forward than where we were last year. If we can keep guys healthy, you know, not just uh, you know coaches kind of doing that for us, but ourselves, you know, 
keeping ourselves healthy, make sure we're doing the right things and being available. Our final question, we'll get to you. Darlington, I know it's still kind of early days, but I would want to get a sense of what you've seen out of Yaya Boa at wing and then, and then Pedro as well at left back moving to that position. Could you repeat that, please? Yeah, what, just what have you seen from Yaya Boa and then Pedro at left back now? Jump in really quick. Uh, Yaboa has not joined the team, so just FYI. Okay, thanks. Well, what have you seen of Pedro at left back then? <laughs> I think kind of similar to what we saw last year. Obviously, uh, he's played on the wing and he filled in for us last year. I left back a couple of times, but he's up and down, uh, getting in good spots, del delivering good service uh, for the guys in the box, and obviously a hardworking player and you know, got a great left foot. So he's picking up. He's picking up where he left off. Thanks. I was going to loot the segment with Darlington.